just after 6.30 and I'm back walking the trail. A few people have uh, started. Uh, people were trying to get up for the dawn to go up on the roof or go outside and watch it. And there's a constant creaking of the door opening and closing and people getting in a zipper and sleeping bags or whatever and just uh, you know for about five o'clock on it was you know just regular flow of noise in the dark and uh, not much you could do about it uh, people coming back and a couple people packing up People come back to get back in their bags. And it's like, geez. And then at uh, six o'clock, I figured, okay, that's it. I'm, I'm going. So, put my stuff away. Deflated my mattress, which is noisier than most. And, uh, yeah, took my pack up the side, my food bags, and had breakfast, realizing that. Uh, I'm losing all this weight and I need to maybe consume more calories in the day and that might help energy levels too and I'm not going as fast as I used to and uh, part of that is I wouldn't say depression just uh, not feeling happy I'm not eager to get going, you know, I just do have that, I wish it was over type of thing hanging over me, but uh, it's not like I just want to walk off the trail well, <laughs> all the time. I'm sure if it started to rain right now, I'd probably think about it a lot more. So I'm just going down a hill here. Um, Otherwise, I slept okay. I didn't get up to go pee. A couple of people did, and of course I heard them because I'm a fairly light sleeper. Um, we're bringing it back on the mattress after nearly a week and uh, you know, rolling and everything, but uh, temperature-wise, it was fine inside the cabin. I didn't uh, take any pictures on the outside of the, the building. It was not very picturesque anyway forgot to uh, take something this morning. Uh, just a little porch on the front and uh, on the very peak there's that platform I went up and took the panorama where everyone was hogging the platform and eating their dinner there while other people kind of wanted to go up but they knew there, there were all these people up there and they kept waiting for them to come down so uh, I guess a little bit of a, an annoyance for some people. Um, even this morning, or well, I guess last night at one point, I did look out the window from where I was laying and I saw a long red light streak by. And it appears there's a meteor shower of some kind that was coming through, but I wasn't too interested in getting up and watching. And I thought it'd be too cold and, you know, wouldn't need anything more than my raincoat. Probably keep me warm from the wind. Uh, some of you slept outside said it was very cold. But in the cabin, no, no problem. My quilt kept me warm, no problem at all. And uh, when I was watching the people go to watch it on, jumping my nose, <laughs> uh, I wasn't that interested in getting up because I thought oh, it was cold and you know it doesn't look like it's going to be a spectacular dawn by any means there weren't so many clouds to catch the colors and everything so I just looked out the window every five minutes or so just to see if it was um, looking any more spectacular and it never really did materialize uh, the way it can sometimes so just as well. Mm -hmm. I ate uh, a bunch of granola and trail mix on the porch with uh, a 
couple of the hikers. And, uh, well, partly so I wasn't eating it in the cabin area and keeping other people who were trying to rest and sleep, bothering them with more noise. Um, yeah, I had my raincoat on. It was just what I needed for the, the breeze it, with the sun up already, and it was on my back as well. Felt uh, quite nice. Uh, the breeze is what is making uh, you feel cool, cold. So, anyway, I finally got my pack on and heading down into the trees. And in an hour, I'll be by the other shelter and that uh, could have possibly gone to and maybe use the bathroom there, toilet. Because there was nothing here than peeing into the bushes. Um, and after looking at gut hook last night, uh, we do walk into a town that had like one general store that burned down, I guess, a year ago or so. So there's really nothing there for hikers to resupply. But apparently there's a barn with uh, an AT logo on it and the people that own it, I believe, they uh, have some bunks in there and that for people who want to camp. And I can't but uh, stay the night. Uh, electric goal and uh, apparently some old movies as well. Probably on video. So uh, when I get there, I'm going to knock on the door and say, hey, how can I spend the night? That would be like an 18 mile day. Otherwise, it's like 24 miles to the shelter that's closest to town. It's just a long day. And that would leave just a few miles to get to uh, Hanover uh, for the post office. And from the, the barn, it would be about 10 miles, which is fine. It would be there by noon or whatever. Perfect timing. And uh, then it's the issue of Trail Angel and maybe spending the evening, hopefully, at somebody's house, which would be nice. So, anyway, I'm going to walk on a little bit here, put my arms down because I'm tired, <laughs> and I'll talk to you a bit later.
there's a sign that downhill it said uh, on this particular road northbound or turn right 100 yards to a house and a back port retreat so, I don't know if it to buy or the trail magic but apparently they're a young family so if it's to buy I'll buy something if trail magic all the better I just hope I uh, can remember the instructions well enough <laughs> there aren't many houses down here otherwise I'd be looking maybe in the wrong place The refrigerator, the freezer, and the price list. And I guess the cash box. And uh, I don't know how many things I'll have, but I'm starting with the $2 chocolate milk. So there's the chairs, table, and their backyard. Ice cream sandwich between two homemade cookies. Five bucks. Probably be worth it. Well, I just arrived at the uh, house of Linda 
and I think Randy, and uh, they had barn, garage, the upper floor, uh, hikers can use, or um, camp outside their tent, and they didn't mention it. It's supposed to rain in the morning, at one o'clock or something, so uh, they said, come and check it out, and then come back, and I've got donuts, and I guess treats, and uh, just to show you what it's like in here. It's very much like a barn, or something like that. There's a little kitchenette area, I guess, with a microwave that probably works. And probably a refrigerator that does not work. And some fans and beds and more mattresses and old movies, lots of movies. And the main area, let's see, <laughs> you go now. It's been, uh, well, who knows? Anyway, more movies, beds, a little piano probably might even work, and that's the bed I'm going to use. And so, this is where I'm going to spend the night. So, I'm going to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring up my water bottle and see about filling them up. But, uh, check out a donut and talk to them. They didn't mention anything about price, so assuming it's free. But uh, first things first, I gotta find out more info when I go over there. Uh -huh. Keeping water up the house and chicken chapters in mountain house that I put in the plastic bag. And uh, I'm feeling really, really hungry after the donut and that soft drink, but I gotta eat, so eat I will. Like would have it. I went uh, after I tried to eat that dinner. I had a pop, and I was just so bloated. I finally thought, okay, time to go to the bathroom. But I sat there and just thought, Nick should take its course. And uh, so I'm sitting there and thinking, oh, geez, spitting into a piece of toilet paper. Oh, but. Uh, let me get that thick fill of saliva on your face, in your mouth or something. And, uh, and then, well, you might want to quit the video, you know, if I get into, get into uh, bathroom details. I uh, ended up having a bit of the diarrhea again, popping out. And uh, just let it go and, and I start pushing to get whatever out and more came out. Anyway, then at some point I'm, I'm spitting into a piece of Kleenex it's like I'm thinking, oh, she's like I'm going to vomit. And sure enough, just the mental image of vomiting in this little uh, porta potty I just almost, I just had to stand up and lift the seat and ooh, ooh, dry heave a couple times. Thankfully, nothing came of it. And, uh, sat down and just burped away and well, it was not a pleasant thing and I'm sure anyone who was within earshot of <laughs> the out of, of that porta potty is like, what's going on in there? Oh, anyway, the end result was that I felt a lot better. All the pressures both ends were taken care of. Oh, I went upstairs and Lay down for a little bit and I thought, well, I'll just come downstairs and a couple hikers on the porch here. Oh, um, was it Guardian? Ooh, apparently I'd met at uh, Yellow Deli. I didn't really chat with him. Anyway, he was here and uh, spread a sheet here, but none of the rest of the crew. I just assumed that they 
camped somewhere in the uh, trees before. I don't think they went any further through to the other uh, shelter, which is another was somewhere two hours, I think, gone. And it's late, it's uh, 8.30 now. And uh, their kid is still swimming in the water there, and they're jumping off the bridge. So water must be nice. I didn't feel like it, but one of the other hikers went in for a swim when he got here. And uh, anyway, I guess that's it for the night. I'll probably edit this video just to get it over and done with. And uh, tomorrow it's about 10 miles in Danover, post office, and contacting a trail angel to see about spending a night with them and uh, heading to the north the next day once I load the new map and figure out where the heck am I going. So, good night.